this is not um, a meatball or anything, but it is a Kelsey's going to be eating while she talks about what's going on in her life and where the fuck she's been and how this is like the fifth video that I've tried to make about this so far. It's hard to find a good cinnamon roll. I got the cinnamon roll from Second Cup. Let me just show you her. Oh no, she's falling apart. My baby, my baby girl. It's very hard to find a quality cinnamon roll in this city. This is the closest thing that you will get to a quality cinnamon roll. And I will tell you that the secret to a quality cinnamon roll is not to put any glaze on it and to, when you're making the dough, like make it like a tea biscuit. I don't want fucking, the cinnamon roll quality has decreased in the last several years of my existence. We need to fix that. We need to do something about it. I feel really gross chewing on camera. I don't understand how people eat full ass meals. Mind you, I sit there and watch people binge eat every day. Literally every day. And this is hot chocolate with almond milk. These two things together are too fucking sweet for me. And um, I'm experiencing instant regret for my choice. So I've been gone for a while because I've been really struggling with my mental health and my physical health. What a fucking shock. So I started a new medication and I've been doing that for a few months and I've just been trying to get my life back for the past several months and it's just like not working. <laughs> it's just not fucking working, bitch. I'm gonna stop eating on camera because honestly I hate that. I don't hate watching it, but I hate doing it. Um, yeah, the last several months have been just really depressing, really hard, um, at times physically demanding, at times scary. But like the past week or two, it's been all right. I don't know if the medication is finally starting to like settle into my body and my body is accepting it or if there's just a phase, like one of those phases that I go through where I feel relatively okay. I'm still depressed every day. Um, my nightmares have gotten worse. My sleeping has gotten worse. But when it comes to getting tasks done that I'm supposed to get done during the day, like getting up out of bed in the morning is a non-issue. Probably because I can't stay asleep if I want to do anyway. Um, then usually like in the middle of the day, I'll just pass out. I feel like this video is all over the place already and we're only three minutes in. Living with mental illness is like not a fucking joke. It's not funny, like it's not fun, it's not trendy. Is it relatable? Yes it is. Yes it is relatable because a lot of people in, do you call this western society? I don't know. A lot of people in Canada and the United States <clears throat> is that called Western society? I don't fucking know. But a lot of people suffer from depression here and it's really unfortunate and it's unfortunate because there are so many people that are suffering from a variety of mental diagnoses. I don't want to say mental illness anymore. Let's say emotional differences. People that are suffering from like severe emotional differences do not get the support that they need. I guess the reason why I've been referring to it as mental illness for so long is that I really want to put emphasis on how much it actually impacts my life. Saying emotional differences is a kinder thing to say. However, I feel like it takes away from the actual impact that this has on my life. Like, it's severe. It is as debilitating as a physical illness would be. Um, like, I work from home now entirely. I can't, uh, I can't be working in public right now. It's just, I cannot do it. Um, it's just hard. I don't even... 
I feel like I can't even speak anymore because I don't have conversations with people in person anymore outside of my partner who is usually at work. So I spend most of my time completely by myself, which is probably why I started YouTube in the first place, um, despite any other reason that I've ever given you. Uh, I'm just a lonely bitch. I'm sorry for that noise. This hot chocolate is so, so good. I wish I could have caffeine in it, but my little heart just can't take it. We'll be anxious, we'll be paranoid. We will be thinking we need to make a trip to the crisis center at the hospital for a mental breakdown if I drink a coffee. So we're not gonna live that life today. <sighs> Every day I fantasize about writing down everything that I need to do tomorrow and making myself a schedule to adhere to every day of my life. I think that would really benefit me, but I just can never bring myself to do it because of the commitment and the obligation that I will feel and the guilt that I will feel for not completing the things that are on my list. I once heard a comedian say that he refers to his to-do list as failure receipts and honestly that's how I feel <laughs> every time I make a to-do list. It's just here is all the things I didn't accomplish but probably fucking should have. Here you go. I'm just having a hard time. I want to get back into YouTube. I want to connect with people. I want to have hobbies outside of the internet so badly. Um, but it's hard. It's hard. So I am doing... I'm going through a new type of therapy. I'm doing a little bit of... What is it called? Is it DBT? DBT. Dialectical behavioral training is that what we call her is that what we call her i have a sheet here yes dbt and my therapist is an occupational therapist so he is geared towards getting me to live a life again and not uh, suffer from what i would consider to be borderline agoraphobia at this point um Today I was able to get up and go and refill my medication across the street, but like, it, it wasn't a simple occurrence. It, it just, I hate this video. I hate this video, but I needed to post a video. Will she edit it? I don't know. How do we get there? Come on, let's go. Me and you and Zabuma Foo. Come along and see what's new. So yeah, I'm back, and shit is gonna be really messy on this channel, but I'm back, and I'm dying to make content, so, ah, <laughs> hopefully the next video will have less awkward pauses, I have no desire to edit this, I probably just won't, um, so if you're still here, and you're still clicking on my videos when they come up, like, Fucking bless your sweet little soul. Thank you for sticking around and not giving up on my channel. Bye. <laughs>